Goldfish is the effing bomb. Period. Here's our jingle for goldfish. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Now, I was just kidding, but I could have left it there. All the facts I said were 100% factual, but leaving it at that would not be doing the crackers the proper justice it deserves. Hi, I'm XXX Snack Boy, and today we're talking about fish of the golden variety. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Goldfish has been a mainstay nationwide for decades and decades. And I would say worldwide. However, there are a few select countries out there that do not wish to spread the message bestowed upon us by Pepperidge Farms. They rather spread their blasphemous lies than follow in the fold with the rest of human society. Yet another reason to hate the outside world. To understand the goldfish, one must cherish the goldfish. One must love the goldfish. One must hold the goldfish above all else in this world. But most importantly, one must consume the goldfish. No, I'm not talking about regurgitating <laughs> their catchy catchphrases. No, 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 no. Gone goldfishing? More like gone goldfish right in my mouth. One snack that's okay to get hooked on? More like one snack that's okay to snort. Catch the goldfish? More like catch these goldfish. What? The snack that smiles back, back goldfish. goldfish. Now that is a real one you can get behind, but I think I have an even better one. Goldfish. It doesn't matter how you consume, whether it be through your mouth, nose, butt, or other orifices, as long as it's cheddar, you're golden. That brings us to our next talking point. There are a vast variety of flavors when it comes to goldfish. And probably 90% of them you should never, ever, 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 ever Ever eat. Being the humble servant of the internet that I am, I spent my time and designed a well-crafted, well-thought-out Venn diagram of goldfish. These little fishies fall into three categories. The A category, the yes category, and the absolutely not category. The A category is, I don't hate you, but I think you should be taking the fish. The yes category, these are flavors acceptable. Only a purist would eat these flavors. Anyone else eating outside of these flavors may need to seek mental restitution. Then we have the absolutely no category. It really is not needing to be explained, but I will explain it for you. Oh, we found him. Douchebag of the year. If you ever eat any of the fish out of this category, I wish you well while you're burning for an eternity in hell. Sour cream and onion, barbecue, nacho, salt and vinegar. You're not a chip. You, if you want to eat chips, go eat chips. Fine by me. Excellent flavors for chips. For goldfish? No. 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 There's a large variety of goldfish flavors beyond this, including the extreme plastic flavors. If you really want to worship the devil, then you will go for the extreme. Not extreme. Extreme flavor. Extreme chili and lime. Let me go extreme myself off a bridge. Extreme screaming hot. Let me go extreme myself off a bridge. Blasted atomic barbecue. Let me go blast myself in the head. The A category is just mostly a mix of the cheddar flavor. You got Parmesan, cheese trio, white cheddar. They're different flavors of cheese. Not the good flavors of cheese, but they're closer to cheddar than at atomic blasted barbecue. That's in the A category of the mixed flavors. They're mostly just like pretzels and cheese or something, just different flavors. Some of them are not good, but if mixed with the right flavors from the yes category, it puts it in the A category. It works out. Finally, for the A category, we have the veggie goldfish. Now they're here for a few specific reasons. One, I don't believe they are out, and if they are out, I haven't tried them yet. Two, they are healthier than normal goldfish, and at the rate I consume goldfish, I need all the help I can get. And three, well, tomato and cheese flavor. If it tastes anything like tomato soup and cheese, we got ourselves something wonderful here, boys. Just something absolutely magical. Goldfish does not work well with many other foods. I'm well aware of this, but one food it does work well with, tomato soup. It's just this pure bliss. Words don't even do it justice. The other one's sweet carrot and cheese. It's just there in the veggie category of a subcategory event, okay? Stop asking, stop questioning my method. For the yes, absolutely column. That's right, it's no longer a Venn diagram. They are columns. It's a cololologram diagram. There's cheddar. Makes sense, best flavor, only flavor you should eat. Whole grain, basically cheddar, just slightly more healthy for you. Baby, smaller versions of cheddar. 
colored or rainbow. Colorful cheddar. Then you have the original flavor. It's a saltine cracker in the shape of a fish. What's not to love? Pretzel, they slide by because I like pretzels. Who doesn't like pretzels? Fine, it works. And the rest of them, they're just different variations of cheddar. You have Disney Mickey Mouse cheddar, Dory cheddar, Cars cheddar, Army cheddar, Pineapple cheddar, Christmas cheddar, Rainbow cheddar, which they changed to colored cheddar. I think that's because rainbow stands for gay, and we all know mama didn't raise no gay boy. World Treasures cheddar, Beach Ball cheddar, Space Adventures cheddar. You get it, they're cheddar in different shapes and sometimes different colors. Like nature's green cheddar, it's just cheddar and green. What's not to love? For astute viewers or fans of goldfish, you would realize that there are two giant gaping flavors that I just completely avoided. Well, that's because they are going in the trapezium, a uh, gram. You have the gram flavors, get it? A gram, trapezium, a gram, gram flavors, get it? Okay. And the puff flavors. Grams are just sweet things, they're like desserts. You got chocolate, graham cracker, strawberry shortcake, pound cake, hot chocolate, What's not to love? These are wonderful flavors. Now, I wouldn't consider them goldfish. I would consider them a nice little snack in the shape of fish. They just happen to be there. Now, this trapeziumogram is separated from the Venn diagram because these are just vastly different products from your normal goldfish crackers, like Cheetos and desserts. So there are a few other things we need to add to this list. So we're gonna make it a tri trapezium gram We're gonna add the likes of goldfish-shaped bread, goldfish-shaped giant graham crackers, and goldfish shaped noodles. Now, with the help of your colorologram and your tritripeziumogram, you now understand which flavors are safe to consume. Beyond that, there's a little bit more that we need to go into. The year was 1958. Godfrey signed a patent for the plastic brick that we would know Lego for today. Instant noodles, aka ramen noodles, aka the backbone of the American student, were made available for sale. The first ever International House of Pancakes opened up. Or IHOP, or IHOP, or very terrible marketing and a place you should probably avoid. Besides these historical landmarks, what does 1958 have to do with this video? Well, Goldfish was invented in 1958. Pong, the first video game, was invented in 1958. That's right, we're talking about Goldfish video games. You thought food is the only thing they deal with? Heck no, son. They have video games. They have merch. They have weird commercials. They have weird commercials with deep, deep lore. Deeper than it should be. Seriously, don't get into that wiki. Welcome to the App Store. There are nine different apps available at the time of recording this video related to Goldfish. And I downloaded them all, and I played them all. And let me tell you, they were a real hoot. You like Mario Kart? You like driving tiny little carts? Then you're gonna love go-karts. If you're brain dead. You like basketball? You like dribbling up and down the court with your buddies? Then you're gonna love Extreme's Dream. You love playing mind-numbing games and letting the fishy follow your finger to the end of the course? Because you're three years old? Well, you're gonna love Get Gilbert. Finn's Dream, a less fun version of Angry Birds Space. Was that possible? I guess so. Swimmington's Dream. You like Subway Surfers? You like that Despicable Me game? You like Temple Run six years ago? Then you're gonna love the Endless Runner that is Swimmington's Dream. You love Endless Runners, but you would prefer it to be 2D? Then you're gonna love Gilbert's Dream, and you're gonna love Brooke's Dreams. What's with all these dreams? I don't know. You like pinball? I never knew a children's game could be so hard in the year of our Lord 2019. Pinball Blast? showed me the truth. And for our final app, which is the only app and not a game, we have Movie Maker. Now at first, Movie Maker let me down. I thought it'd be a very basic video editing software. Well, it wasn't. But Movie Maker has something all these other games do not have. It allows you to record voices. <laughs> let me get out my Goldfish branded wallet and pull up my credit card to buy me some microtransactions because hot damn is this exciting. We're now at the point of the video where you're probably thinking to yourself or maybe even asking out loud, what's the point? Why go on and on about Goldfish? Why waste so much time and effort talking about it? Why would I listen? What's the point? Well, Goldfish is more than just a cracker. It's more than just a snack. It's something that binds us all together. But beyond that, the point I'm trying to make is a very simple one. If you or someone you know holds the opinion that whales are better than goldfish, 
then I don't think the electric chair is enough of a punishment. I love fishes cause they're so delicious. Got, got I love fish, fish and I could eat them every day. And my mom says that's okay. I love the fishes cause they're so delicious. Got goldfish and got goldfish and. That's pretty tight.